All right, so this is a uh, quick uh, demonstration of a shortcut in the career path. Um, so you got the arcade, you've got all these different little combat things that you can get. Um, I just got several of these all at once, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So you'll notice all these little um, special, like special skills, officer, field officer, hold the line. They all have to defeat 250 kills or do 250 kills. So we're going to kind of shortcut that. We're going to go to play. We're going to get arcade. Then we're going to go to a custom arcade because they haven't fixed this yet, but apparently custom arcades count. So this is the kind of the settings you want to set up. You want to get all the kills yourself, so you want to set the onslaught. You want to set it to a base where you know a good hiding spot. I'm going to show you one at Starkiller base. Set the start time to as far as you can, because who cares? Honestly, you can just set it to one minute. Uh, but then set your kills to the number that you need. 250 is for this. Uh, set it to free for all, so you can pick any characters. Uh, set difficulty to rookie. Uh, onslaught intensity to high. I wonder if it goes higher than high. Ooh, it does go. It goes to extreme. This should be even faster now. Set elimination bonus to five seconds. It goes like one, three, and five. Last stand off. Uh, ability to recharge fast. Player health double. Enemy health, one hit kill. Uh, enemy class, any, or you can restrict it. It doesn't really matter. And then mini map precise. So let's play. And I'm guessing you can figure out what's about to happen here is I'm about ready to annihilate um, all these characters. Uh, the one that I haven't gotten yet is the basic troopers. That's the one I'm going to be doing. I'm going to spend a lot of time working on headshots because there's a headshot bonus one that I need to get as well. Alright, so first thing you need to do is find yourself a nice little hiding hole. can't remember exactly where mine was, so I'm just going to do a loop around the map. Now the clock doesn't start until you shoot somebody, but then it starts. So there's my start. If I remember correctly, it goes... I think it's this way. Basically, you just want to get yourself to a corner of the map where you have... Um, Basically, only two directions you really have to look to kill somebody, and I think this is it. Yep. And from here, you can basically just snipe. Not exactly the best at that. And usually there's only going to be like maybe one or two guys that show up behind you. forward to this, or I'm just going to headshot my way to 250 while you guys watch. You get the general idea. You just sit here and you just rail them out. You can see them from really far away. I think I accidentally shot one. You have double health, so even if one sneaks up behind you, it's not going to hurt you that much. Reload all day. start getting worried about your health, you can kind of take cover for a while while your health regenerates, and you just have fun. So at this point, I think I'm going to time lapse this so that you guys can get through it faster.
sonic headshot. There's one more. Headshot. So that should do it. I was uh, 9 minute 53, well, that's how much time I had left. Our turn to the main menu. Boom. Leader of the charge. Killed 250 people with the trooper. So guessing this is going to get patched decently soon. So take advantage of while you can. We also got fighting the fit. All those other ones that you can get. So even once you're done with the uh, main uh, career objectives, these arcades, uh, you can still get all the rest of them. Like there's the one shot, thousand headshots in the arcade. That's going to take a couple rounds. Uh, great help. A lot when 10 team battles. I haven't even done that many team battles with this, but you could easily do like really, really short because you just need 10 team battle matches with 30 enemy defeats or more. You can kind of scale that to what you need to to just get through it quickly. Um, fighting the fit, you got to kill 2,500 enemies in arcade. That's quite a number of people. Basically, you get the idea. Basically, just cater your. Uh, your arcade settings to the career uh, thing that you want to finish and you'll burn through, through these things real quick. So I hope you enjoyed that video and hope this gives you a boost in completing uh, the Battlefront arcade challenges. Thanks for watching.